All right, hello and welcome. My name is Bobo Frackles, and I am one of the tournament organizers um, for the Magic Online Society. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the Magic Online Monthly Series. So what the Magic Online Monthly Series is, it's a league-style event that begins the first of every month, and the league phase will run for the first three weeks of each month. So for the first three weeks of each month, you have that amount of time to play five matches against other registered players. It doesn't matter who you play, it just matters that you complete five matches. You can do this on your own time, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to register um, and get all set up. And the reason you get three weeks is because that last week is designated for top eight. Um, so once the top eight completes, the event will end, and then we'll redo it the following month with an, another format, okay? So let's talk a little bit about it. We host two monthly league events. One of them is pre-modern. The pre-modern league will run every single month, always pre-modern, never changes. The second one is a rotating format list, and that one is rotating between Legacy, Modern, and Pauper. So please check our registration tab to find the event links for the appropriate one you're looking for. Okay, so in order to play in these events, you have to have three things. You have to have a gathering.com account, which I'm gonna show you how to use here. You have to have a Discord account, all right? And you have to have an MTGO account with the type of deck that you wanna play, with the format specific deck that you wanna play. So let's talk about how we register for the event, add our deck list, and find our matches, all right? So you have to create a um, gathering.com account. And when you create your gathering.com account, you're gonna to come to this page. This is your home page. I want you to forget these four bottom ones because these are for admins like myself, okay? And but you're going to focus on your player control panel. All right, so I'm going to click my player control panel. And you'll see here I have a list of upcoming events, and then I can pre-register for other events. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search from the what I'm, what I'm looking to play in. And here, let's pretend I'm looking to play in the June Pre-Modern Series. So I'm going to find the MOS MTG June Pre-Modern Series, and I'll click register. Now, you can add your deck list one of two ways. You can add your deck list by um, uploading a file, either .deck.txt, or you can manually type it in. And you would do that by, let's say, we're going to play um, Titanic, right? And I'm going to play 60 Island because it's the best card in Magic. All right, and then I'm just, and then of course you add your sideboard, or whatever, and then you hit Create Deck, and boom, now I am registered for the event, Bobo Fraggles, and June Pre-Modern Series. Let's talk about how to find your matches now. All right, so finding matches. This is how we find matches in um, our Discord. So you're in the Magic Online Society Discord. You're gonna come down, you're gonna to go to monthly league groups. We're gonna do this for the pre-modern monthly. Same thing for the other, this name gets changed at every month for the corresponding format. But what we're going to do is we're going to do pre-modern monthly, and this is how we're going to find our games. What we're going to do is we're going, everyone who registers is going to get the pre-modern monthly role or the whatever role that they need. And that's how you're going to find your match. What you're going to do is you're going to ping the role. So let's take Blog Boys, for example. Good old Blog Boy. We're going to add pre-modern monthly. Anyone want to play? Got one more. This player responds, yes, please. Sweet. Let me rent the cards. I'll set the match up in free form tournament practice. And that's important. You're going to play in free form tournament practice. Okay. Now they're going to play their match. It is that simple. You know, and some like, just like um, this player did here, it's a good idea um, to list your availability times. That way you can find other people who are in your time zone and, or you can plan to play that player. Um, but like I said, all you need is five matches. So now that you've played your match, we're going to get ready to talk about how we report the result. Poof. Okay, here we are, and now we're going to report our, our results in gathering.com. So let's say we're on the home page, right? Now, I am going to report this result by going to my player control panel. Okay, and as you see here under my active events, um, it will say whatever active event that you're currently in, but I'm currently involved in both of these. I've already played my five pre-modern and I'm playing my five. Let's report a league game. Let's say, for instance, I played Machuga, okay? And I, 
I whooped up on Machuga. I beat him 2-0. -oh. All right, so I'm going to go to um, Report League Game. I'm going to find Machuga, and I'm going to report that I won the game 2-0. -oh. That's it. It's that simple. Now, when you do that, the person who lost will get a notification under active matches. It'll say report league game. They also need to report. They need to confirm that result. Okay. If, for instance, two players report differently, one person reports 2 0, the other person reports, you know, um, 1 2, that's perfectly fine. What's going to happen is you're going to put a, you're going to ping me or one of the uh, mods in the chat and we'll fix it. It takes, you know, 30 seconds to fix. Not a, not a big deal. So we hope that you enjoy these events. They are free to play, um, and we do offer prize support for them, which you can um, find under the um, monthly league announcements channel. Um, so you know, if you have any questions, please let the mods know. We're we're here to help, and um, we hope that you enjoy. All right, we'll see you for our tournaments. All right, bye bye.